let's move forward. MCQ number 93. 93, yeah. Aliot registered oh, yes. for sale tax during October. Aliot sold goods with a tax exclusive price of 800 to Kai on credit. As Kai is buying a large quantity of goods, Aliot reduced the price by 8%. And it account for sales tax on all transaction at 25%. What was the gross value of sales invoice for Kai prepared by Elliot? So, what's the invoice price? 800. It was 8% price reduction, mean discount, and 25% discount. So, 800. What's the 8% of 800? 64. By deducting 64, yes, how much? 736. And then add 25% discount. What it could be? Uh, sir, it's um, 184 plus 7, uh, 920. How much? Uh, 920. 920, yes. Thank you, Paul. ABC company sold goods with the list price of 1000 to Smith, which was subject to trade discount of 5% and early settlement discount of 4%. If the invoice was paid within seven days. The normal credit period available to the credit customer is 30 days from invoice date. At the point of sale, Smith was not expected to take advantage of early settlement term be offered. So what accounting entry we made? 1,005% trade discount. What's the 5%? 50? I mean, we made entry yes, to Smith, David Smith, with the 950 and credit sale 950. We didn't account it for 4% settlement discount because he was not expected to pay within the due date. Enact. Oh, yes. Sir. So if Smith subsequently paid within seven days, it was eligible for the settlement discount. What accounting entries would be made by ABC company to record settlement of the amount outstanding if he paid within few days? So we will credit his balance with the 950. But we received after settlement discount of 4%. We received after settlement discount of 4%. What is uh, after 4% deduction that the cash we have received? Uh, 96. Uh, 96, no, 950. We received 912 cash. And what's the remaining amount, 38, what we should record no. the revenue? Yes, sir. David. So what's the option, option A, B, C, D? Option C. Option C. Is that fine? Oh, yes, sir. 95. ABC company sold goods with a list price of 2,500 to Johns which was subject to trade discount of 5% and early second discount of 4%. If the invoice was paid within seven days, the normal credit period available to credit customer is 30 days from the invoice date. At the point of sale, Jones was expected to take advantage of the early settlement discount. This means we need to deduct both the discount from the sale price and then make an entry. Enough. Oh, yes, what accounting entry we have recorded? So 2400 
after 5% tier discount and uh, amount is 2400. 2400. Yes, sir. And then after 4%. So 2500 into. After 5% discount, it is 2375. The sale is of 2375, but we need to record the 4% settlement discount. This means the entry will be receivable debit. And credit sale. The sale amount is 2375. But receivable will be adapted with a 4% settlement discount. That is 2280. And we debit what? Settlement discount, discount allowed. That's the entry we have recorded. Oh, yes, sir. Five settlement discount. This entry we have recorded initially. If Johns subsequently paid within seven days and was eligible for the settlement discount, what accounting entry should be made by ABC company to record settlement of the amount due? So if he has paid within due date, so we will tap it cash and credit receivable with amount due from him. Uh, 2280. So yeah. option B. Option? Option B. B here. Yeah. Is that fine? Can you understand this? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Because if there was expectation, he will take the settlement discount. We will record the entry with the settlement discount. In previous case, there was no expectation that he will pay within due date. He will receive settlement discount. That's why we record the entry without a discount. But afterward, he paid within due date. So we Credit his balance with the full amount because yes, his ledger should be named. And we debit cash and the discount we provided to him, we charge to revenue as expense. Is that fine? Oh, yes, sir. Between these two questions. Question 96. ABC company sold goods with a list price of 4500 to Blake, which was subject to trade discount of 5%. So first calculate what is uh, the price we gonna offer. So 4500 less 5% discount is uh, 4500 less 5% discount is 4275. And early second discount of 4% if the invoice was paid within seven days, the normal credit period available to customer is 30 days from the invoice date at the point of sale Blake was expected to take advantage of early settlement discount this means we will record entry debit what Blake receivable and credit sales with the settlement discount so after trade discount 4500 becomes a 4 to 7 5 and after detecting the settlement discount it becomes 4104. So we have recorded this entry with this amount because it is expected that customer will take the second discount. We pay oh, yes, it. If on this occasion Blake didn't pay within seven days and was not eligible for the settlement discount, but accounting entry should be made by ABC company to record settlement of the amount outstanding. Mean he will pay the full amount. That is 4275 instead of with a discount. This means we will credit Blake with 4104 the amount due from him. And we have received cash above this amount. 
we have received cash above this amount. 4275. 4275. Yes. So it will be debited. So and we will credit record be. credit revenue with so how much amount? Day, it's uh, 171 because the remaining amount. 171. So what's the correct option? Option D. Option D. Yes. Debit cash. Credit this and this. Yes. Is that fine? Oh, uh, yes, sir. 97. Similar scenario. ABC company sold goods with a price of 3700 to white, which was subject to trade discount of 5%. So first deduct trade discount. 3515. And early settlement discount of 4%. If the invoice was paid within seven days, the normal credit period could allow to customer is 30 days from the invoice date at the point of sale. Why it was not expected to pay early settlement discount and take advantage of early settlement discount. This means we recorded the entry with the without settlement discount. To whom white? So debit white as a receivable with the amount. 3515 and credit sales with the amount 3515. What happened next? If as expected, White didn't pay within the settlement discount period, what accounting entry should be made? Obviously, cash debit with the same amount 3515 and White credit. With the amount due from him 3515. So, what's the option? What's the option? So, it's um, option A. Option A. Straightforward. 98. ABC company sold goods with a list price of 1400 to green, which was subject to trade discount of 4%. So, first deduct this trade discount 4%. So 1400, 1344, 1344. And early settlement discount of 5% if the invoice was paid within seven days, the normal carry trade available to customer is 30 days from the invoice date at the point of sale. Green was expected to take advantage of the early settlement discount term offered. So now did early settlement discount. What's that? 55 percent. So 1276.8, 1276.80 we will record entry. Debit green with the 1276.80 and credit sale with the 1276.80 with settlement discount we have recorded the entry. What happened next? If on this equation green didn't pay within the settlement discount period, what accounting entry should be made? So we will credit green with the amount due from him, but we will receive cash without settlement discount. So without settlement discount, what was the amount? 1344. Uh, 1344. So what's the difference? Uh, 67.2. Revenue. What's the difference? 67.2. 60? Uh, 67.2. 67.2. So what's the option? Option B. Option B is. Is that fine? Oh, now yes. We sir. are moving towards inventory. An item of inventory was purchased for 500. It is expected to be sold for 1200, although 250 will need to be spent on it in order to achieve the sale. I mean, these are cost to sell. What's the NRV? This is the cost price. What the NRV? 1200 minus 250. How much? 
to replace the same item of inventory would cost 650. At what value should this item of inventory be included in the financial statement? So we have learned inventory should be recorded lower of cost and NRV ignore this replacement cost. So what's the lower? Cost or NRV? Cost. Uh, cost. So we will record at the lower amount. Because according to IES2 inventories, inventory should be recorded lower of cost and RV. I mean whichever is lower, we should record on that basis. So if the NRV is 950, cost is 500, we will record at cost. If NRV is lower than cost, we will record at NRV. Is that fine? Oh, uh, yes, sir. 100. Closing inventory may be valued using FIFO or AVCO. Which of the following statements is true, assuming that prices have a fallen throughout the year? I mean, prices are reducing. Closing inventory and profit are higher using FIFO rather than AVCO? No, sir, I don't know. If there are, uh, is a pricing reducing, so using a FIFO, we will deduct the earliest unit, mean at the high price, and we will record closing inventory on the latest unit, mean at lower price. So using a FIFO, closing inventory will not be higher, will be lower. And if closing inventory will be lower, cost of sales will be higher and profit will be lower. Can you understand this concept? Oh, yes, sir. I suppose if the prices are reducing, suppose we bought 10 units at the rate of uh, 6 is equal to 60, then we bought uh, 5 units at the rate of uh, 5 is equal to 25, then we bought 10 units at the rate of 4 is equal to 40, mean pricing are reducing. And using a FIFO, if suppose we sold seven units, so we will sell from here first in a. So this inventory will be gone first, and the remaining is of lower price. If remaining is of lower price using a FIFO, the closing inventory value will be lower because. We're going to include these items into closing inventory, the lower price items. The higher price will be gone first, first in, first out. And if we're going to record closing inventory on the lower price items, then the closing inventory will be lower. And if closing inventory is low, this means cost of sale will be higher because we detect closing inventory from the cost of sale. If we're detecting less amount, the cost of sale will be higher. And if cost of sale will be higher, the profit margin GP will be lower. So what's the option? Option B, option B. closing inventory and profit are lower using FICO rather than O. Not higher. Is that fine? Oh, yes, sir. 110. 101. Apple buy, buys and sells inventory during the month of August as follows. Opening inventory 100 units at the rate of 2.52 per unit. On 4th August, there is a sale of 20 units. On 8th August, there is a purchase, then sale, then purchase, then sale. Which of the following statement is true? Closing inventory is 19.50 higher when using the FIFO method instead of periodic average method. This means we need to calculate closing inventory from both method FIFO as well as AVCO. So from FIFO, if we calculate, there's opening balance of 100 units at the rate of 2.52. What's the total? 252. Then we have same 20 units. Obviously, we have sold 20 units, the earliest of us, at the rate of 2.52. What's the balance now? If we sold 20 units, what's the balance? 
So 80. 20 to 2.52. Fifty point four. Uh, so what's the balance? Uh, yes, sir. Remaining eighty. Eight. Uh, yes, sir. What's that? Eighteen to two. Uh, eighteen to two point uh, five two. Two Four. zero one point six. Or two zero two point six. Uh, so two zero one point six only. Two zero two zero one point six. Then we purchased. So these are at the rate of 2.52. Then we purchase 140 units. At the rate of 2.56. What's the amount? 140 to 2.56. P58.4. Then we further sold how many units? 90. From where these 80 will be sold first? You know, these oh, yes, 80 sir. will be sold first, gone. And 10 will be from this. This means we will be having remaining how much? 130 at the rate of 2.56 using FIFO method. 332.8. This is the balance we are having now. Into two point. Uh, then yes, we sir. further purchased 200 units at the rate of 2.78. How much? Double five six. Then we sold 180 units. 180. How? 130 from this and remaining 50 from here. So what's the balance remaining? 150 units at the rate of 2.78. So 4.7, 4.17, 4.17. 2.78 is 4.17. So as per FIFO method, our closing inventory will be 4.17. Now we oh, need yes. to calculate closing inventory as per Avco method, periodic Avco method. And periodic Avco method is at the end of year, we calculate the average price and we sold according to that. So 417 is the inventory as per FIFO. Now we're going to calculate using Avco. Because whenever we will purchase inventory, we will calculate, and this is a periodic AVCO rather than continuous AVCO. So opening balance was 100 units at the rate of 2.52 is 252. Then there was added. Oh, yes, so. Uh, 114 to uh, 2.56. 2.56, what's the total? So 358. Then we added 200 units. Uh, sir, uh, 2.78. 2.78, how much is the total? Oh, 556. Five? 556. 566? Uh, Sir, 556. 556. 556. So there is no other purchase? No. So all together, how oh, many yes, units? 300 and 440? So 1166. Double one, one, six. Six, six. What's the rate? 1166 divided by 440. Oh, yes, sir. Sir, 2.65. Double one double six divided by four four zero two point six five six five. Yes, sir. This means we will sell <coughs> how many units? Twenty here, ninety here, one eighty here. 
how much all together 180 plus 92 70 290 at the rate of 2.65 how much uh, 768.5 So what's the closing inventory after this? Is 397.4? Yes, 397.5. So what's the difference between these two? 19.5. Uh, 19.5. This means using a 5.4, we will be having closing inventory of 19.5 higher than AVCO method. So what's the option? Yeah. Closing inventory is 19.5 higher than using a 5.4 method instead of the audit cavity method. This is the correct option. Option A. Yes. What are the other? Don't need to write. Don't even read. Because these figures are different. And here it's yes, showing even lower. Is that fine? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Number 102. 102. Diamond performs an inventory count on 30th December 20 at 6 ahead of 31st December year end. Diamond count 1200 identical units, each of which cost 50. On 31st December, Diamond sold 20 of the unit for 48 each. I mean, this is the cost and this is the market price. What figures should be included in Dylan's statement financial position for inventory at 31st December? At what amount they should record the inventory? 1200 units. Whether they should record at 50 or 48. Oh, 48. 48. So what figure they should record? A 1200 minus uh, 20. Uh, one, 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 eight, zero. They are having how many units? If they uh, got 1200, they have sold 20. So 1180 left at the rate of 48, they should record. So 1180 yes. at the rate of uh, 556640. Five, 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 six, six, yes, sir. Because they shouldn't record on cost basis, lower of cost and RB. And RB mean selling price less yes, cost sir. to sell. Cost of sales are not there, but selling price we know is 48. If they record on cost basis or at 50, the inventory value will be higher. You know? Yes, sir. 103. Identify whether each of the following statements are true or false. Inventory should be valued at lower of cost, net realizable value, and replacement cost. Oh, uh, no, sir. The cost and net realizable value. So it's false. When oh, value yes. work in progress, material cost, labor cost, and variable and fixed production overhead must be included. Yes, in finished oh, yes, rules and working process, all the cost should be included. Inventory item can be valued using either FIFO or ABCO. Yes. And entities financial statements must disclose the accounting policies used in measuring inventory. Yes. Oh, yes, sir. Include, uh, disclose in the notes of the accounts. 104. Kai's interior design business. Receive a delivery of fabric on 29th June 20x6 and was included in the inventory valuation at 30th June 20x6. As the 30th June 20x6, the invoice for the fabric had not been accounted for. And they didn't record the accounting entry. Oh, yes, sir. Based upon the available information, what effects will this have on Kai's profit for the year end 30th June 2006 and the inventory valuation at that date? Profits for the year ending 30th June 2006 will be overstated. 
because if you haven't received that invoice, you uh, cannot include the yes, sir. inventory. Yes, profit will be overstated because closing inventory is understated. Yes, sir. Inventory at 30th June will be understated. Uh, profit I mean, for the yes, year sir. ended 30th June 20x7 will be overstated. Uh, no, sir. Inventory no, at 30th June 20x6 will be overstated. Oh, uh, no, sir. Profit will be overstated. Uh, option, option 1. Option 1C. One, option 105. What general entry is required to record goods taken from inventory by the owner of business for personal use? Whatever the owner withdraw from the business, we will record drawings. If he is taking a cash, we will record entry drawing debit cash credit. If he is taking goods, we will record drawing debit goods, so goods from where inventory. But mm -hmm. we will not credit the inventory. We will credit cost of sales. Yes, sir. So drawing debit cost of sale, or we can say purchases should be credit. Not the so, inventory. We will record drawing debit. So option uh, purchases A. or cost of sale should be credit. Yes, so sir. What's the recording entry? Option A. Option A. 106. 106. A business had an opening inventory of 180 and a closing inventory of 220 in its financial statements for the year ended 31st December 20x6. Which of the following accounting entries are required to account for opening and closing inventory when preparing the financial statements of the business? Inventory account 180 debit, statement of profit and loss credit, statement of profit and loss debit, inventory account 220 credit, or statement of profit and loss debit, inventory account credit with 180, and inventory account debit, statement of profit and loss credit. How, how what we do with opening inventory? We add to the PNL. What we add to the PNL, we add to the PNL expenses. In a, oh yes, sir. Are deducted from PNL. Opening uh, inventory what? we add to the PNL or deduct from the PNL. Oh, from the PNL, uh, sir. Um, opening Let's inventory, I think deduct. Less cost of sales. In cost of sale, what we record opening inventory. So it will be deducted plus purchases less closing inventory. So expense uh, and then we deduct the total amount from sales and arrive at the GP figure. This means if we are deducting the cost of sale, this means we are deducting these two things from the sale and we are adding, adding this closing thing inventory. to the sale. Yes, oh, yes, if the sir. sale is having credit balance, if we deduct something, that will be debit. And if we add something, that will be credit. So in case of opening balance, what we are doing, we are debiting a PNL account. And in case of closing inventory, we are crediting a PNL account. Yes, sir. Because after this, we will charge expenses. And we deduct. If we are deducting this, mean we are adapting PNL. If we make PNL account, we record a sales here. We record opening inventory here. We record purchases here. We could record expenses here. We record a closing inventory here. So this is debit side. This is credit side. So PNL account is adapted <laughs> against opening inventory and credited against closing inventory. Closing. Is that fine? <coughs> so what's the option A, B, C, yes. D? Uh, sir, uh, option B. Option B, yeah. For opening inventory, we are adapting PNL <laughs> with credit of 
opening inventory. And with the closing inventory, we are crediting PNL against closing inventory debit. This will be recorded as asset debit. This will be deducted from the asset and this will be recorded as expense here and this will be deducted from PNL added to the sale in PNL. Is that fine? Yes, sir. Oh, it's yes, tricky. Sir. It's a little bit tricky. Oh, yes, sir. 107. <coughs> Jay's annual inventory count took place on 7 July 2006. The inventory value on this date was 38,950. During the period, from 30th June to 7th July, the following took place, sale purchase. The markup is 25% on cost. What is the J's annual valuation at 30th June 2006? Mean they perform count on 7 July. So we need to verify the closing inventory at 30th July, <coughs> uh, 30th June, sorry. Oh, yes, sir. June. And we performed the count on 7th of July. And 7th of July, there was inventory of uh, 38950. Uh, uh, and there is uh, some sales and purchase between these dates. Oh, yes, sir. So if we're going to find this X, so what is added, we need to deduct, and what is deducted, <laughs> we need to add. <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. so what is added? The purchases are added, so we need to deduct what uh, purchases? Purchases, how much amount? Four, uh, four two, five, two, five zero. zero. But we need to add sales with how much amount? Not 6500. Because in this sale, there is a profit also included. We need to add only cost of the inventory sold. If 6500 is the sale amount including profit. Can you calculate uh, profit? Uh, yes, sir. 25 divided by 25. How much is the profit? Uh, so uh, it will be uh, uh, 1300. 1300. So if we deduct <laughs> 1300 profit from this, what yes, will sir. be the cost? 5200. 5200 this means we need to add 5200 then we will arrive at and minus 4250 uh, so 39900 39900 is our answer can you understand this oh uh, yes sir. A little bit tricky <coughs> yes sir so at 30th June, yes, what was the inventory? If at 7th July there is inventory of this, and from 30th June to 7th July there was a sale and purchase, this means we need to find inventory at this date. We need to find X. Mean from here we should go there. So whatever is added, we need to deduct. Whatever is deducted, we need to add. And the sale has been deducted, purchase has been added. Yes, sir. So, reversal effect of purchase, we will deduct purchase. Yes, and sir. And we will deduct sales. But sale, including a profit. Profit is mentioned. We need to check what is the separate. cost of yes, sold. Because we need to separate we are the profit and inventory. sales. Oh, yes, sir. 108. 108. Inventory moment for product X during the last quarter were as follows. Opening inventory at 1st January was six items valued at 15. January purchases 10 item, February sales 10 item, March purchases and then sales. What was the gross profit for the quarter? If inventory is valued using the continuous weighted average cost method. Continuous weighted average cost method. This means first we need to identify what's the closing inventory. So, what's the closing inventory? So, there were six units at the rate of 
15 each all together 90. Then we purchased a further 10 units at the rate of 19.8. How much is the total? 19.8 into 10. Uh, yes, uh, sir, it's uh, 198. 198. <laughs> so we need to check the average price per units. 288. Plus, uh, 288. Or oh, yes. 16 units. So 288 divided by 16 units. The average price is 18. Oh. We are having. Then we sold 10 units at 30. So 10 deducted at the rate of 18. How much? Uh, 180. 180. So we are having 108. 108. Six units. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Rate of 18. Then we further purchase how many units? 20. At the rate of how much? 24.50. So 20 into 24.50. Uh, so 490. 490. And what balance we are having? 490 plus 108. Pa it's 598. A how many units? 26. 26. So 598 by 26. We are having uh, 23. Yes, sir. Then we sold five units at the rate of 23. So on 115. 115. So how much is the balance left? Uh, so uh, 483. 598 minus 115, 483. So this is our closing inventory. We need to calculate what? Gross profit. Uh, yes, sir. So we need to calculate gross profit. So what's the sale figure? We sold these to 10 items at the rate of 30, mean 300, and five items at the rate of 30. So 15 at the rate of 30. 15 at the rate of 30, the sale is 450. And then cost of sale, we are having opening oh. inventory of a, a six item of a opening inventory of 90. Then we purchased 10 items at the rate of 19.80198. Then we purchased 20 items at the rate of 24.490. So 198 plus 490, how much? So 58. Yes. And then the closing inventory is a 483. So what's the cost of sale? Mm. 90 plus 688 minus 483. The 295. Five. So what is the GP? Uh, 450 minus, minus 195. 155 is our GP, so we can say 155 is our gross profit. Oh, yes, sir. Got it. Oh, yes, sir. Because the sale you need to calculate <coughs> on the actual sale price. Here we didn't use those actual sale price because we are calculating closing inventory based on continuous. Oh, yes, sir. Continuous in continuous, whenever there will be a purchase, whenever there will be a purchase, we will record, we will record the new, we will calculate the new price per unit, not on sale. Whenever there will be a purchase, we calculate new oh, yes, price sir. per unit. But in periodic weighted average method, <laughs> we Add all the purchases, then calculate an average amount per unit, and then we will make sale according yes, to that amount. One zero nine. Zero nine. Your business values inventory using the periodic weighted average cost method. 
At 1st October 2008, there was 60 units in inventory valued at 12 each. So there were 60 at the rate of 12. How much? 720. 720. On 8th October, 40 units were purchased for 15 each. So 40 purchased so, um, at the rate of 15 each. How much? 600. 600. And a further 50 units are purchased for 18 each. So further 50 was purchased at the rate of uh, 900 each. 900. Uh, on 14 October, on 21 October, 75 units were sold for 1200. So first we need to calculate the average rate per unit. So 720 plus 600 plus 915 plus 22, uh, 22, 22, 20. Is that? Oh, uh, yes. And how many units? 60 plus 40, 100 and 150. So what's the rate? Uh, sir, 220 divided by 14.8. This means we will sell how many units? 75 <coughs> at the rate of? 14.8. Uh, 14.8. Uh, so half of this one 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 zero because it is half two forty point eight. It's a triple one. Triple one zero zero. So triple one zero is our closing inventory. What did he uh, ask? The closing uh, inventory. Yes. Triple one zero. Oh yes, sir. Is that fine? Oh <coughs> uh, yes, sir. One ten. Ways of a wholesaler. On each sale, commission of 4% is payable to the selling agent. These are cost to sell. Or uh, uh, no, sale less selling expenses. 4% selling commission should be paid to the agent. So these are expenses to sell. That should be reduced from selling price to arrive and RV. The following information is available in respect of the total inventories of three of most popular titles as a way financial year. So there are three types of inventories. Henry, dissuasion and pilgrim. Cost of inventories is as follows and selling prices are as follows, but we need to deduct a 4% discount from the selling price so that we can arrive at NRV. So what is the NRV? 2900 after 4 percent commission. So 2900 into 0.96 we will arrive at 2784 NRV. 4000 into 0.96 we will arrive at 3840 NRV. And 12 years, sorry, 1300 into 0.96 we will arrive at 1248. So first inventory entry should be recorded on cost or NRV, whichever is lower. Uh, it should be recorded on cost. The second dissuasion, NRV is lower. The third pilgrim, NRV, uh, is, lower. NRV is lower. So, so what we want, the value so, of uh, these inventories, so 2280, Plus three eight four zero plus twelve four. Plus so seven three, three six eight, eight four zero and plus twelve forty eight. Oh yes, sir. What seven will be three six eight. Value? Option seven, three, A. Six, eight. Yes, sir. Is there seven three six eight? Option A. Yes, yes sir. sir. Is that fine? Oh uh, yes, sir. One hundred and eleven. A business had inventory at first July comprising fifteen units at a cost of three each. The falling inventory movement occurred during the year. There was uh, unit sold, unit bought, unit sold. What was the value of closing inventory at 31st July? If a FIFO method of inventory valuation is used, if FIFO is used from this five sold, we will deduct from here. So these there will be 10 left. Then yes, these 10 added and eight. So we will deduct from here. So two left of three each and then 10 left at the rate of 3.50 each mean 35 
So all together 41 we are having closing inventory using the FIFO method. So what's the 41 D option? Can you understand this? Oh. We are having opening inventory of 15 units at oh, the yes. rate of three. So we will sold five out of these 15 FIFO method first oh, because now 10. Yes, there are remaining 10 and then 10 more minus eight. So we are having 10, 10, two types of 10, 10 items. And then eight will be sold from first 10 of three each. So how much remaining? Two of three each and 10 oh, yes, of 3.5 each. Oh, uh, yes, sir. For, um, yes, sir. 41. 112. What would be the effect of an entity's profit for the year of discovering that inventory with the cost of 1250 had a net realizable value of 1000 had been omitted from the original inventory valuation? If inventory having cost 1250, but net realizable is 1000, it should be recorded on 1000, had been omitted from original inventory valuation. What effect on the profit? If 1000 inventory is omitted from closing inventory, then cost of sale would be less. 1000. Uh, and profit will be higher. Uh, higher th by 1000. Yes, sir. Option? Option B. B. B 1000. <coughs> uh, yes, sir. You know? 130 as company sells three products basic super and luxury the following information is available original cost of all mm. three is a 6980 estimated selling price 91215 but selling and distribution cost so we need to deduct these costs from the selling price to arrive at nrv so for basic the nrv is 8 but we should record on cost for super the uh, NRV is 8, so we will record at NRV. And for luxury, the NRV is a 10, we will record at NRV. And these units are there. So what's the value of inventory? 200 into 6, 1200. 250 into 8, how much? 250 uh, into two, 8, 2000. So 12, 2000. And, and uh, 150 into 1500, 10. 1500, what's the inventory? 3500, 4700. Oh, yes, sir. 4700 is answer. Oh, yes, sir. 113, 114. In times of rising prices, mean prices are rising, downward prices are rising. The value of inventory using the 5 4. First in first out method, as opposed to the weighted average cost method, which results uh, will result in which of the following combination? If prices are rising, so using a FIFO, the inventory closing inventory value will be higher as compared to Avico. Closing inventory value oh. will be higher as compared to Avico. And if closing inventory value is a higher, profit will be higher and cost okay, of sale sir. will be lower. What's the option? Option A. Okay. <coughs> because if the prices are rising, this means the yes. low price item will be sold first by using FIFO. And the high price items will be left in closing inventory using FIFO. If the higher price products will be left, this means closing inventory using 5-4 will be higher. And if closing inventory will be higher, profit will be higher. And on the other hand, cost of sale will be lower. Uh, lower. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. Oh, uh, sir, uh, I think I'm not feeling well, like I'm feeling a little sick. Can you um, like continue the class in the next session? Yeah, sure. Sure, 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 sure. So we'll continue from 115 in next session and then we will cover the next chapters. Uh, yes, sir. See you next session. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Inform me tomorrow early about the class.